Welcome back. In the last video, we learned how to look at AVID general data. In this video, I'll show you how to access your most recent senior data. There was some senior data in the general data file, but it was last year's seniors. So if you're looking at last year's general data, then the senior data is now two years old. The most recent graduate data is found in the senior data report. This data comes from the exit survey that AVID seniors take at the end of their 12th grade year. To access the senior data, go to avid.org and click on My AVID in the top right corner. Log in with your email address and password, and on the home page, hover over Data Collection and then click Data Entry System. I'll show you right now. Now you can go down to the area called Senior Data Collection, and there's several tools here. For senior teachers to add a new student to your roster at the end of their senior year, you can click Add a New Student. To view the list of students who have already been entered, you can view Student List. To go in and add or edit or view the current data, there's a link for that. And then to view and print data reports, you can go down to the bottom and view that. So let's take a look at what's in one of the data reports. So to get to the senior data, you have to click on My Reports and log in again because there's personal student level information in this part of the system. So if we're looking at a site, I get a lot of questions about what's the difference between the left side and the right side of this chart. So let me talk about that a little bit first. So what this says, on the left side, it's telling you that at this particular school, 2% of the AVID students are Asian male, and 6% of the AVID students are Asian females. And of the Asian students, 25% of them are male, and 75% of them are female. So this is the percentage of all of the AVID students, and this is the percentage of males and females within this particular group. So some of the things that I look at here, I look at the demographics, I also check um, the percent who are eligible for free and reduced price lunch, who have participated in, in EL, and what percentage of the parents have had any college experience at all. Then down below, you can see some of the, the graduation data. You can see how many have been in AVID for three or more years, passed the high school exit exam, graduated from high school, and apparently there's a bit of a mistake there. They've been updating the system and just did an update this morning, but I don't think 174% of their students graduated. Completed the four-year college requirements, the A through G requirements, um, submitted the FAFSA, and um, those who checked on the, the exit survey that they're interested in being a tutor next year, you can find all of that in the high school outcomes. The next are their post high school plans. You can see how many applied to a four year college, were accepted to, you, to a four year college, plan to attend a four year college, plan to attend a two year, and then total overall between four year and two year, 94% at this particular school. And then another 4% who'll be going to a technical school or enlisting in the military. You can also see some testing information, how many students took the SAT, ACT, both tests, neither test, and the subject area exams. And you can also see AP, IB, and dual enrollment courses. And at the end, you can see um, some GPA information about the graduating seniors, the average GPA, the minimum, the maximum, and then broken down by male and female. So there's a great deal of valuable information available in the senior data report. And this is also where you go to input um, your senior account so that they can put this data into the computer. And then next year, all of this data will be automatically imported into your general data. So it's very important that this data be accurate. The one thing that's missing from this data is how well the students did on the EAP test when they were in 11th grade. So that will be the subject of the next video. We'll show you how to use the website to find out how the students at your school did on the EAP exam. 